Hello, good day. So, we are the group one and we are allocated with the topic um, ICT and the role of ICT in teaching and learning. So, before we proceed to our discussion with the topic, uh, let me introduce myself. I'm Gutierrez Mary Ann and I'm working with my energetic classmates. Um, Fatima Etik, Kristen de la Peña, and Colleen Sigasabal. So, ICT. What is an ICT? ICT is an abbreviation of the word Information, Communication, and Technology. So, generally, ICT refers to all devices networking, applications and systems, and components. So what are these components? Components includes the data, the internet access, code computing, software, hardware, transactions, and communications. This facilitates the interaction with the digital world. Sometimes ICT is related or interconnected with IT or the information tele technology, but ICT is more comprehensive relating to computer and digital technologies. Generally, ICT encompasses the combinations and applications in those components. So we all know that ICT plays a big role in our daily lives, such as online shopping, um, business transactions, telemedicine, uh, so social media and even online learning so therefore ICT continues to revolutionize all parts of human lives it changed how people work communicate live and learn but we also know that ICT doesn't only bring uh, advantages to us okay so I have heard Kristen de la Peña to discuss the disadvantages of ICT Good day, I am Kristen de la Peña and I'll discuss the disadvantages of education. Just like any other technology, ICT2 comes with certain limitations. While most of the educational specialists empathize on putting aside the few disadvantages, few still argue otherwise and say the drawbacks of using the technology in education. So. Um, speaking of ICT, if there are advantages that it can give, then of course there are disadvantages then that it can give. Um, even if we have high technologies, we can't deny the fact that it is not completely open or applicable to everyone. So, let's tackle the disadvantages of ICT in order for us to be reminded that though we use technology almost all the time and we thought that it is useful, of course, yes, it is useful, but let's know that it has imperfections. First is the misleading and misguiding information. In this pandemic wherein we engage into online classes and work from homes, uh, most of us or almost all of us, uh, we run into websites or in Googles to find information to aid our uh, questions. No, Then, uh, without knowing that maybe this uh, information we got are not true or it's fake and it can guide us into uh, making decisions by believing or applying those informations we got the second one is risk of cyber attacks and hacks um, are you familiar with cyberbullying? Yes, through online, it can be really possible. We can use or people can use online in bullying someone. And people can hack our accounts commonly in Facebook. We can use online to attack people. 
third one is a risk to the traditional book and handwriting methods. ICT can also affect traditional way of learning as we know that somewhat books are left behind due to online applications that through on it we can easily browse something for example in Google or in any websites about our handwriting methods we can easily type with the use of technologies instead of buying pens and papers or pencils the fourth one is implementing computers and the internet for ICT replace the conventional education curriculum ICT really affects our conventional education curriculum wherein before we use traditional materials for learning but now we are engaging into high technologies that may affect the performance and learning of the student for example there is books from libraries replaced by books or pdf downloads or taken from online applications next one managing courses online is difficult for example online classes wherein students and teachers engage in eight hours of classes using technologies facing computers and phones that may affect our eyes because of radiation misuse of technology examples cyberbullying too much use of gadgets that leads into addiction spreading of fake news next not accessible everywhere gadgets that needs internet connections and data to connect and participate in classes is one of the example next teachers require experience to handle ICT implementing computers with the internet is really expensive yes the last one is few believe that computers can limit imagination well as for me if we are responsible enough in making every decisions then it is not impossible for us to handle everything including the proper use of technology now we're down to the roles of ICT in teaching and learning. Technology is a powerful tool that has changed how teachers teach and how students learn. It has provided people with access to education and access to different ways of communicating and working together. First, we have here its roles in teaching. So how do technology helps teachers do their work? Here are some benefits of technology to the teachers. First, technology allows teachers to be more flexible. For teachers can use different teaching methods or, and tools to suit their lessons to the students. Second, it assists teachers in teaching difficult concepts. Third, it helps teachers to connect with their students. Because of technology, teachers are able to better communicate with their students and support them in their learning. Especially in this time of pandemic, where online classes is the only way for students to learn and gain knowledge. Fourth, it helps improve teaching skills and helps in innovative teaching. Innovative teaching focuses on creating a conducive environment within which good learning can occur and where good teachers are inventive and creative. And lastly, it allows access to more resources. Because of technology, teachers are able to find additional and updated learning resources that can help them with their work. Now, for the roles of ICT in learning, here's Fatima Itik for the discussion. So, as of today, whether you are a student or you are a teacher, you should know and learn about ICT. Because now, teachers use ICT to share, to share information to the students and monitor 
the student progress. And to do this effectively, each teacher needs to be able to use these tools effectively in order to share with the students. And today, in an online world where technology is having a significant impact, in learning ICT skills. So that is why learning ICT is very critical because as of today, people use technology in their everyday life, especially to the students. Technology is what we use now to be able to communicate, to learn, and to teach. Why is ICT important in both teaching and learning? The importance of ICT benefits both fields for it enhances teaching and learning process, it helps effectiveness in classroom, it helps to achieve the objectives of the lessons effectively, it helps improving professional development and educational management as well as active learning of teacher trainees, and lastly, it helps in calculating 21st century skills. In short, Technology is an effective tool that can make education meaningful and engaging for teachers and students alike.